Good morning. This is Ian from Hypo Hawaii. Today we have here our latest generation two all clear carbon prone. Now this is just my personal prototype. There are some features that the production board that are already in stock do not come with. Number one are these two what we call rail stringers. The reason why I did that is the bottom line is that when you have a flat surface, when you add creases and concaves on it, you stiffen the skin tremendously. So this is what I call a rail stringer. And when I flip the board over, you'll see that we have nose concaves and nose stringers on that too. The goal is to make the board extremely stiff so in case you surf a 15 foot wave, it will not break. First of all, this is a carbon board. This is already overkill. That's why we're not going to do it in production because it's also very expensive to do. So if you come around, you'll see all our boards sit this wide. It sits at 21 inches wide and moves at about 15 inches wide. So this center concave channel is why I call it flow through concave. All your water will, and air will slide through, lift the board. So you're running on the inner rail is a lot faster. Now, most traditional paddle boards, so, uh, uh, chrome boards, uh, have a, what I call a barrel shaped bottom. So when you sit in the water, it's a hundred percent wetted surface area. So it's the maximum drag. This design, our patented design, drops the wetted surface area down to about 40, 40%. So you can see how the water will enter right through here. Now, you may be wondering what, this is an optional thing, right? This creates a little vacuum bubble here to give the back fin less resistance, right? So it's faster as you go through flat water. However, this ventral fin, there are many shapes. We just use a normal surfing fin. You can, there are many different shapes you can use, longer, lower. What the ventral fin does is, because it's sitting right above your throat. So when you paddle, and if there's a lot of crosswind, cross chop, this will make the board a lot more stable. First of all, since our board has outer rails and inner rails, this is for secondary stability. So if you're paddling with a really leaning stroke to get a longer reach, this board will be super stable. If the conditions smack you around, it will be super stable. And this is just additional stability. Doesn't, doesn't cause any drag, right? It's on a crosswind thing. So this is why these differences make a huge, huge jump in performance. It's going to be the fastest board you're ever going to get in the market and I also move this fin box a bit more forward because if you're on a steep drop your tail in the wind if the fin traditional fins are back here so now your fin is flapping in the wind you have no control going down the swell so all these are all those little things that make our board perform great on downwinders uh, uh, flat water because it's just faster let me try and show you the other side so let's look at the other side come closer again we talked about the reason for being why do we have these concaves here yes they look kind of cool but again most boards have flat domes so what happens is that you know this part of the board it's not as strong right if you're gonna hit anything hard drop on a hard wave this you have fractures here instead of flat surface when you put a concave like that you stiffen the skin and stiffen the board tremendously that's why we have a two-sided concave the strength translates into the deep arm scoops so again you can have a longer reach a deeper reach and this one will not destabilize the board by pressing the board down left and right you have a the deep cut out here and this whole strength line carries onto the rail this channel that's in the in the deck will come closer and you can see it all goes all the way down come closer and con continues down into this hard chine so as far as you're concerned this board is completely locked into a stiff triple stringer deck plus the bottom itself have all these hard chines all these are areas of strength that's why flat surfaces are very weak surfaces the reason why we do it is because co uh, complex concave Hard chines are very hard to make. That's why most people do very smooth surfaces because a jelly bean is a lot easier to laminate than a complex shape like that. Now, look at the deck well, right? 
Traditionally, we have chin rest. Basically, I got I, we made the pad so that it comes all the way out so that you could just paddle it on the existing pad without using a chin rest. If you like to paddle more forward, you can take the Velcro strip and set it even more forward if you want to do it as an optional thing. Your, your water bottle stuff is here, right? So these are all the things you can do. And let's look at the back. This is a deep handle and a kick pad. Why do we do the kick pad? Because I believe that you have to lock your body in to power yourself into a left surf, right surf, or even when you're sprinting, right? Because you lock your toes in, now you're pushing with your legs as well as your body and you get a hard sprint. All these little things make your paddling more enjoyable, faster, and you use more of your body for your training. If you look again, right? Now we realize that this is an overkill. We already have a hard rail here to make the board very stiff so that if you do a big wave drop, it will not break. So this is my personal board, so I'm not selling it. Thank you.